coming up today on Channel 97 News. We see what Boardwalk Waffles and Ice Cream is serving up. Check in on an OHS sophomore who's dancing through life. And take a deeper look into an issue that has affected the student body. And it all starts now. this edition of Eyes on the Tigers, Channel 97 News. And Happy New Year. I'm Emma Zwire. And I'm Chase Skaggs. Finals start next week, Oakville. Second block final is on Tuesday, January 11th. Fifth, seventh, and eighth block finals are on Wednesday, January 12th. And first, third, and fourth block finals are on Thursday, January 13th. Make sure you check in with all your teachers and be prepared for next week. Promoting things can be difficult but the social media marketing class is helping the basketball team score some new followers. Natalie and Gracie have the story. Social media marketing has been a class at Oakville, but Miss Darby took it over this year. I took a spin on the class of trying to get the students to understand that it's not just about making money and trying to influence people to buy things from you, but it's there's a lot of back end that goes into it, the marketing side, who's the target market, understanding that each influencer, each account really is driven by people who are watching their stories and buying from them, but also in just in general about what makes a good post, what's good content. My goal is to just get a couple new followers every post that we have for the students to see like the, the big picture of how you can grow and develop um, on a platform. Eva has taken what she's learned in class to help the basketball team's social media presence. I guess in the social media class, I just learned like to make posts interesting and creative so people will actually look at them. So when this whole process started, I had a conversation with Ms. Darby and said, hey, you're teaching social media next semester. I think it would be a good idea. You know, can we partner? Can we do this? He said he really wanted to like get a lot of hype for the basketball games and actually get people to the games. So I'm kind of interested in doing social media, like in college and in my future. And I'm in the social media class. And so I was like, well, I can totally help out. So far I've gone to every game and me and Sierra take pictures. One year 30 people I would say repost it and so that's all the more audiences you're reaching and like I've heard a lot of people say like oh, I had a lot of fun like when's the next one. Then obviously I cannot give enough credit to Eva Beidel and Sierra Bradley for their help as well taking pictures making all that possible. Social media marketing is available to take fall and spring semester so if you guys have any interest in taking social media marketing don't forget to sign up for it and registration in February. If you want to know what's going on around the school follow OHS.insider on Instagram and Twitter and if you want to keep up with the basketball team and know when the games are follow Oakville underscore hoops on Instagram and Twitter. With Gracie Lecti behind the camera, I'm Natalie Baker for Channel 97 News. I'm going to have to follow Oakville Hoops on Instagram. Me too. But unfortunately, not all social media is positive. Andrew and Nate take a closer look into the negative side of social media. Today, technology thrives. Between your phone or these computers, they unfortunately have caused some problems. Here's an inside scoop on cyberbullying. So cyberbullying is any time um, an electronic or online format is used to bully or harass someone. So um, posting something mean, um, sharing things that are maybe sensitive in nature and meant to hurt the person. It isn't anonymous what you're posting. It isn't send something out funny, get your, you know, 15 seconds of fame and then walk away. That 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 has a lasting impact on the person receiving it that I mean you can destroy reputations, careers, people's lives. After somebody reports that to us, we'll start kind of investigating the matter to see um, is this cyberbullying, is this a um, isolated example of somebody just being mean, um, or what is really going on. Um, and the way we do that is we start talking to people, we go through social media, we look at different um, screenshots, and if it gets if the report is bad enough, then we, we involve law enforcement. I found that trying to be openly myself online has led to a lot of cyberbullying, and I've had to find a balance between 
being myself and letting people get to know me online, but also keeping myself safe and ensuring that I'm not going to be cyberbullied. Here are some ways to prevent cyberbullying. Um, but really the biggest thing is blocking people, not engaging, so not responding to it, not, go, not having that back and forth, and then reporting it. I'd say don't be afraid to speak up and tell other people about it. There's always going to be somebody out there that can help you, and don't let one person saying things online put you down because you're still doing your best. With Nate Rouse behind the camera, I'm Andrew Blanchett for Channel 97 News. Remember to stay safe online, Oakville. You know who uses social media in a positive way? Who? Hannah Lieberoff. She uses her page to show off her talents. Amon and Justin, tell us more. Oakville has many talented students, but Hannah Lieberoff stands out from the crowd. Um, I started dance when I was three. I started a competition when I was five, and it just kind of grew from there. Hannah's unique passion for dance has taken her pretty far. Four summers ago, I started Muni, and it was my seventh grade year, and I was on Muni Kids for three years, and then this past summer, I was on Muni Teens, which was my freshman year. We talked with Hannah's brother on how her family supports her journey. There's a lot that we do. First of all, my mom, it's kind of like her second job, is <laughs> running around with my sister. Um, she kind of helps Hannah stay on track with everything and really helps get her foot in the door with everything she does. With juggling all of her talents, it must get pretty stressful, right? Um, it's definitely challenging a lot with school. It's a lot of late nights because I don't get home from dance till like 9.45. Um, but how I do it is I just try to stay motivated and I write it in my planner so I have like all my times of like when stuff is due and it keeps me organized and yeah. <laughs> Compared to my sister, my schedule is like nothing, <laughs> you know, and I could feel stressed out just from school and like wrestling alone, but then I see her, you know, succeeding in everything that she does. And yeah, I think just the way she handles it, it really inspires me kind of to push through all of my things. Um, and uh, when I'm stressed out, you know, she helps me too. Ending with some advice from Hannah. It's definitely people are going to say no to you, but you're just going to have to keep reaching for your dreams. And people are definitely going to make fun of you, but it's what I want to do and it's what my passion is. So I just let everyone else talk. So, yeah. With Amon Luker behind the camera, I'm Justin Rausch for Channel 97 News. Hannah has some very interesting talents. A local ice cream shop has an interesting way of serving ice cream. Colden, Olivia, and Sawyer take us to Boardwalk Waffles and Ice Cream. Do you like ice cream? How about waffles? Get a taste of both here at Boardwalk Waffles and Ice Cream. Waffles tend to, may, uh, tend to be one minute to two minutes to cook. And then we do um, ice cream, that's easy, simple scoop. Then we set it up, we uh, plate it, then we ship it down to the, um, the uh, powdered sugar area, and then we uh, get you all checked out. Uh, I think Boardwalk is more unique because it gives a New Jersey twist to here in St. Louis. The best part of my job is probably the customers um, because usually everybody comes in here with a happy attitude. Hey guys, I'm Olivia. I'm Colton. I'm Sawyer. Welcome to our food review. Yep. What oh. more? Okay. Oh, there's waffle cone in it. I didn't realize that. Mm. The flavor is called blueberry waffle cone. You need so observant. I think my flavors were really great, and I really enjoyed the vibe there. I thought it was really good, and the vibes there was just awesome. I really like the uniqueness of having the hot waffles and cold ice creams together. Nine out of ten. I give it an eight out of ten. I give it a nine out of ten. To taste what Boardwalk has in store. Go to 4348 Telegraph Road. I'm Sawyer Bess. I'm Colin Lamb. And I'm Olivia Lutker for Channel 97 News. With those high ratings, I'll definitely have to stop by. Boardwalk has a lot of different options. I've heard students at South Tech also have a lot of options. Belma and Katie show us what South Technical High School has to offer. South Tech is a school where students can do hands-on work that gives them early opportunities to prepare for their future careers. We spoke to three students in different programs to get their perspective. I do automotive technology at South Technical High School. Obviously we get a lot more hands-on things. We get to actually be in the shop and it's not just a classroom. And uh, we get to work on actual cars and it's something that I wouldn't get to do anywhere else. I would like to be a automotive technician at a dealership, but it's also opened the door to a lot more friends and, and a lot of people that uh, have the same, same interest as me. Like 
obviously I've been interested in cars for a long time and so have the people in my class. So it kind of connects to you with other people that have the same interest as you. I chose to come here because I've always liked to do stuff with like my hands and actually do my own work. And here I'm able to do that and sort of work at my own pace and do hands-on skills that I wouldn't learn at Oakville. And it's able to set me up for a career in trades. South Tech actually, they have sort of like connections for each program. Um, pretty much straight out of high school, you can get a setup with them. You can be working straight out of high school. You have people from different backgrounds coming in here. Sometimes they'll help you like learn because they'll give you a different perspective on how to look at things. I've always been interested in medical things, so I chose this and it, it's really fun and it really helps pu push me in that direction of what I want to do. South Tech, there's a lot more hands-on things, and I'm a very visual learner, so everything about that is just, it helps me to really connect with what I'm learning. We all connect on a different level than like regular school because we're all, this is our profession, so we all just kind of, we just connect on that way. And I know like if I see things that I've learned here, I, I connect to that or I'll tell my nana like, oh, we learned that. And she's very proud of me, so. I think it's a really good learning opportunity. You can, you can apply for dual credits, which will help you in college. That's one perk about it, so. If you want to work more hands-on to prepare for your future career, talk to your grade level counselor to explore your opportunities and see what South Tech can offer you. With Katie Schrader behind the camera, I'm Bama Miakic with Channel 97 News. I want to be able to manage my time like the students at South Tech do. Well, you're in luck. Anthony and Aaron have some tips to help with time management. With finals just around the corner, students are more stressed than ever and just about burned out. Hey, you look stressed. Are you doing okay, bud? Here are some tips and tricks to manage your stress levels during finals. Take a break with something that makes you happy. Don't overwork yourself studying endlessly for finals. Try to take time out of your busy week to do things you love. Even if it's just stepping away for five minutes, walking back and with a clear state of mind always helps. Stay organized. Before finals week even begins, write out your game plan. With finals covering everything you've learned over the entire semester, it can be hard to navigate an effective schedule. Having a day-to-day -day guide narrowing down what you're going to study is the key to success. Get plenty of sleep the night before. It may feel like you don't have enough time to rest, but getting a full night's sleep often is the key to a successful final. Sleep deprivation always worsens stress levels and more times than not can trigger symptoms of mental health conditions. Get at least seven to nine hours of sleep to ensure that you'll have plenty of energy for the day. Also, make sure to eat breakfast the morning of your finals. We know sometimes there simply isn't enough time in the morning to prepare a nutritional meal. Try to set some time aside in the morning to get something in your stomach and your body will thank you later. Breathe. At the end of the day, it's not that serious. Finals will not make or break your high school career. A helpful tip is asking yourself, is this gonna matter in an hour, a day, or next week? And if it's not, then it isn't worth my energy right now. Let's finish this semester strong. Good luck on your upcoming finals, Oakville. You can do this. And that wraps up today's show. If you'd like to see more of our content, make sure you visit us at myohsonline.com. We post new stories all the time. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emma Zwire. And I'm Chase Skaggs. And remember, Oakville, keep, keep your, your eyes, eyes on, on the, the Tigers. Tigers. Welcome to this edition of Eyes on the Tigers, Channel 97 News. Sorry. <laughs> Remember to stay safe online, Oakville. You know who uses their social media for, wow, oh my God, <laughs> social I'm gonna have to follow Oakville. Stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>